Uh, hello again. This is uh, Dick Rochford on the route, North Atlantic route from Goose Bay to uh, Barcelona Walk. Continental 123, Andrew, ready to go ahead. I've uh, made my position report at Loach and uh, getting close now to my point of no return. Tailwind has picked up a little bit. Uh, I'm 217 knots over the ground uh, against a true airspeed of 209. So uh, uh, that changes the picture going back if I have to. So uh, we plug that into the trip planning, uh, estimating a ground speed of 195 knots going back to uh, to Goose. That means I'm an hour and 22 minutes uh, from Goose Bay. Just about halfway in terms of time. Uh, one, two, three, Gander, uh, I have your position uh, okay. It looks like you might have had your mic keyed a bit too long there. Uh, you sort of cut off abruptly. So, uh, I've elected to uh, continue for now. I have not reached the point of no return, but I did take the liberty to check the weather one more time. And uh, the weather's actually improved. We're calling for uh, a temporary time of uh, uh, snow showers and lower visibility, but still decent weather. Now they're calling for uh, current weather is uh, uh, at 1050Z is uh, 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 090 at 4, uh, and uh, 10 kilometers visibility. Few clouds at 200 and minus 10, minus 19 on temp 2, and 1014 on the uh, on the Colesman. The valid time of 11Z to 20Z, which is when I'm getting in there, is uh, uh, 080 at 6, 10 kilometers, and uh, a few clouds at 3,500. The minimum on the uh, on the approach over there is uh, about 2750 uh, for the uh, NDB approach. It's about as low as I can go. So with few, I'm okay with that. Of course, few is one eighth or less, and, uh, and that's certainly VFR. So uh, I'm gonna continue. So what to consider now is uh, engine health, of course, and nothing's changed there. Time switch tanks. Uh, I'm showing uh, 38 gallons of fuel remaining at Goose Bay, which is uh, adequate in my estimation. Uh, burning about 22 uh, an hour now to keep the temps under control. I'm looking for 15, uh, under 1,600 on the TIT and uh, less than 400 on the highest uh, CHT, all within limits. And uh, uh, sure enough, number five is 380, and uh, TIT is 1,560 with a flow of 22, which is absolutely normal for this engine. It's running smoothly. I did try on uh, the test flight uh, on the 20th to run at Lena Peak. Some of the uh, piston airplanes will run Lena Peak. Uh, this one will, would not uh, adequately run the... Well, here we are at uh, the pitch position, but uh, we have plenty of fuel. The engine's running well. Uh, we have decent weather, good weather, in fact. Who are we? 25, approaching 50 west. At Goose Bay. Uh, correction at... Uh, Gander, you can call me this frequency at 50 west, sir, with uh, this report. Uh, uh, good weather at uh, completely broken, so you're not quite in range. Call me this frequency if you want. Might need to do a relay here. Hang on one second. Okay, nobody asking for a relay. Uh, of course, VHF is a little iffy on this route, and uh, sometimes relays are necessary. Uh, I can still talk to Gander, uh, but there will come a time when I won't be able to. Uh, but at this altitude, above 19.5, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good to go, theoretically, with the uh, VHF. Uh, although, uh, you know, as long as everything's working okay, that's fine. And, uh, and it is, so I'm happy with the flight, everything's going well. It's just a beautiful day up here at flight level 250. Uh, looking out the window, we've got uh, some undercast uh, uh, broken to uh, uh, undercast below and uh, a bright Canadian, uh, soon to be a Greenland sun. Uh, looking out here over on the left, maybe a little bit to see that. Uh, some clouds down below us. Uh, there was another pilot leaving. Uh, I've got this. Continental 6-9 or Gander Radio, 
Go ahead. That's a position report from Continental. I've got uh, the squelch opened up there so that I can listen to Gander as long as possible. I do expect to lose him here in a minute. Um, but uh, uh, there was a ferry pilot uh, leaving in a Seneca right behind me. He was taking fuel and uh, was victim of the uh, sparking fuel incident. They had a hand pump out there and a plastic hose and no ground strap to fuel him. So when I saw that, I elected uh, to not super top the airplane. I'd run it for 45 minutes uh, anticipating departure yesterday, but uh, took a chance that that, uh, that fuel would uh, impact the flight today and uh, looking like I'm right. So there you have it, all the news that's fit to print. I'm enjoying myself. I certainly hope you are enjoying yourself. It's a beautiful day over the North Atlantic. Let's keep it that way. And uh, this is Dick Rochford uh, having a good time. I hope you are too. Uh, fly safely and uh, train often.